Help me ducks, it's Simon here. Welcome back to the Hermit's Cave. To make sure the light isn't too too bright. Um, so if you saw my video yesterday, I, I did a unboxing and walkthrough of the Dark Goddess Tarot, um, which I love. And I did a reading with it this morning and it was amazing. So I'm really enjoying that. Um, but I've also been sent this by Schiffer which is tarot leaves now i am a huge beth salonen fan um i've got a few a few of her decks now the first one i got was the guardian tarot which artwork in this deck is absolutely stunning um i've also got the dream raven tarot and as i've mentioned before when i've done unboxings of beth's decks the, the art style is just so different from deck to deck. She is so talented. Um, and I also have the, the Blue Cat Tarot. Again, very different art style. And one of the most recent decks that I got was this one, which is the Isabella, sorry, Isabel Snail, um, which was sent to me by a lovely person who sent me quite a few animal decks. And this is an independently produced deck. And it is adorable. It's an incredible deck. And again, art style is very, very unique and very different. So when I saw Tarot Leaves, I um, I was thrilled. And I was thrilled to, um, you know, have this deck sent to me by, by Schiffer. Let me get these back in. It's because the little, uh, little booklet is is in the way, pop that back in there. So I wonder if this will ever become mass produced, hopefully. Um, so yeah, so today we're going to have a look at tarot leaves. And again, from the few images that I've seen, and I've not watched any walkthroughs because as I've said before, when I know that I'm getting a deck, um, I like that, that kind of element of surprise. I'll see enough to know that I want it, um, but then, I like to hold back a bit just so I can, you know, as I said, get that, that surprise. So it's in a nice compact box. Uh, it's got the little, um, oh, I love shipper boxes. So is this similar to, I think it's similar to the Guardian. Yeah, similar to the Guardian Tarot, the little compact boxes rather than the larger ones which again, similar, the Schiffer put these lovely little ribbons in. Um, so, move that one out of the way. So we've got a nice little compact box and it says 78 tarot cards, interpretation booklet, tarot leaves, and all of the images are images within a leaf. And oh, I just, yeah, it's so nature-based, I love it. It's by Schiffer. And it's from 2011, so this deck is now nine years old. Um, and that's what you get on the side. So on here, it says 78 tarot cards in guide using the shapes of maple, oak, sorry, maple, apple, oak, and birch leaves. Images overlapped within leaf artwork, given hidden meanings that pop forth. Utilizes color to convey the meanings of each card in a new and innovative style. And then on the back, explore the tarot. Through the beauty of nature, as seen through images drawn within silhouettes of the maple, apple, oak, and birch leaves. Innovative images that have been tucked away, utilizing color to convey the meanings on 78 artistic tarot cards. Each card is represented by a leaf in which the images and symbols are hidden within. Colourful and intricate, the leaf image overlaps the imagery message and vice versa. The magician phase, now you see it, now you don't, surely applies as with each reading, some images are noticed and seem to pop from the leaf, while other symbols are overlooked until another time. Enjoy the simple beauty of nature as you explore the roots of tarot. So that's really intriguing, isn't it? And with most tarot decks, actually, 
very often I'll work with a deck and I'll miss I'll miss little symbols or little parts of the image. So so this has a little little fold in there to keep it nice and secure. But it's a lovely, really sturdy box and it's uh, magnetic. So really durable, really durable box. So that's nice. So here we have the little book, Tara Leaves, Beth Salander. Um, not a lot of information. It is literally a little white book, more or less. So you get the image in black and white or grayscale, and then you get a couple of sentences for each one. And then at the bottom here, you get the reverse. So for the moon, the reverse is depressed about concerning issues, refuse to seek refuse to seek make a choice refuse to seek make a choice okay it must be a comma that's in there but it's just hard to spot so yeah little right book it's it's okay it's great for little pop it in your pocket or your your bag or purse or whatever and pulling it out and having a having a lot a little bit about beth at the back and um, some spreads at the back so yeah how many pages? Somebody likes to know. 96 pages. So let's have a look at the, the cards. We'll take the plastic band off and we have the title card, Schiffer's card. And then is that an advertisement card? Yeah, so it's advertising um, books and an oracle deck. So but these are nice if, if you're arty and you do journals and things it's nice to have these additional cards um i've got a in the hallway a huge uh framed kind of mosaic of all tarot card backs and they would look lovely in that because they're really nice and of course reversible so it's a nice thick deck shift cards are always good quality so nice nice deck it's not edged but actually with the white borders it actually looks quite nice not being edged they're not gray they do have a nice white color to them and the backs as we've seen and they have like this duck egg blue uh, border on the back and love the blue leaves as well it's a beautiful color blue in terms of size they are a little bit shorter than a standard US games tarot, uh, but they are a good kind of five millimeters or so wider. So they're quite compact. And as I mentioned, cardstock is, is really good, good cardstock. They do have a sheen to them. They're not over glossy. None of these are stuck together. Um, they're really nice. I like them. So, let's let's have a look at the cards i'll just make sure i haven't got a glare from the lights no that's good so have a sup of coffee and we'll explore the deck together okay so we have our fool and it is a kind of a fool with a fool's hat like a court jester fool and now because <laughs> Because I read on the back that there are things that you might not spot. Um, I'm looking, I'm looking all around to see if there's anything I can spot. Um, but as it said, it will come to you when the time is right and when you need to see the things anyway. So this is beautiful, beautiful artwork, lovely, soft uh, watercolours, just, just gorgeous. But it is our kind of court jester type fall, you can see with his collar here with the bells and things in his hat but you've also got the edge of the cliff just showing there the magician you've got this pentacle here cups wands etc the high priestess she's beautiful got the crescent moon the reflection in the water She's almost, and you've got the, the white and the black towers here as well. But she's almost, you know, appearing in the sky, isn't she? Above, above the landscape. The Empress. 
have the female symbol here. I love the purple and the green together. And again, very, you know, she's she's Mother Earth, isn't she? And you've got this, this river and the beautiful greenery, green hills. The Emperor, have the male symbol, sun and the moon, the throne here with the uh, ram's head. Beth Salonen is fast becoming one of my favorite artists. She's just so, she's so diverse with her art. It's, it's just wonderful. The Hierophant, interesting, we just have the Hierophant staff here. But I don't know if this image here is like a goddess image as well. A goddess symbol, I mean. Our lovers is beautiful. I love the red sun, setting sun. This has such a lovely energy to the deck, such a lovely vibe. Chariot, we've got the yin and the yang rather than the black and white sphinx. The, we get the swift movement from here with the owl and the bird. Strength, wow, look at that. Beautiful. The hermit. The hermit is gorgeous. Look at the flame. Okay, so let's see what the book says. You know, I'm going to sing it. What does the book say? Um, the hermit. So, as I say, we get a, a little bit of information. So it says, look back to the events that have led to this point. All have served a purpose to give wisdom. Use this wisdom to further your own endeavors. Another aspect of this card is to listen to the wisdom of others. They are a fountain of knowledge waiting to be tapped. And the reverse is ignoring sound advice. That gives you a bit of an idea of what you get from the book. We have the Wheel of Fortune, it has the Torah here, or Rota. <laughs> There's lots of different ways to look at the colours. I just There's something about the purple and the greens together that really are quite beautiful. Justice. The Hanged Man. So there's some writing or symbols here as well. like to have a look at the hanged man's face and this is tied quite loosely it's almost like those dancers those performers you see that wrap themselves in like silk and dangle and... wow look at that death image wow that is quite an image we've got the graves here is that like an animal perched on top. Is it a snake? Get my trusty magnifying glass. I think it's a serpent. That's actually a serpent on top of that grave. But this is beautiful. Temperance. blend of water. Devil is interesting. That's really interesting. It's a maple leaf, but it's just got the, um, the inverted pentagram. Wow. The tower. Perfect for the tower, isn't it? It's just, you know, the leaf has just been destroyed. It's been pulled apart, ripped apart. But you can still see the foundation. Star, the two cups. To say this deck has been out for nine years, I've not been aware of it until this year. And I'm really surprised because this is just beautiful. We've got our hound and the wolf. 
roof. We've got the two towers, the moon, the water between. <laughs> Beautiful sun card. And we have judgment. Look at that. Interesting that we get the Lemnus Gate here. So that's our majors. Oh, we're starting with the kings. I, I'm going to pop in order because I, I like to go ace through to king. So just bear with me one second. Okay. So we'll start with our pentacle suit. So we have our ace of pentacles here. And I will go through a little bit faster on the minders. So they're quite pippish, but I'm quite digging it. We get the balance idea. We've got the two pentacles, but we've got kind of like this seesaw motion going on. The three of pentacles. So we can see the, the kind of work that's happening here. We've got like a, a church or a building. So it does lend itself to the RWS as well. Four. We're getting that stability of the four by balancing everything out. Five of pentacles, so we've got the cold outdoor uh, snowy scene. Six, his hand is letting them go, letting the, um, you know, it, when we think about the six of pentacles where Someone's kind of using discernment and offering out to people. You've got a hand receiving and a hand giving. And they are different hands because you've got nails that are painted here and not, and not here. Seven. Eight. Nine. Beautiful. Nine of pentacles, the bird that's in the, the lady's hand the family scene, the home life scene for 10. We have our page, knight, queen, and king. So we have the traditional courts, and the two cherries. And then we have our cup, so we've got this blue kind of watery energy now. Two of Cups. That's interesting, isn't it? Because we've got the two cups, but we've got this coming together. The three of cups in that position of celebration. <laughs> got little bits of streamers and things. Four. The extra one being offered. I think this is done beautifully. I love this. Five, the two upturned, but three spill. I'm not gonna keep saying this. It, it clearly follows the RWS, but uh, yeah, as you can see, the seven with all the choices, and I'm still doing it. <laughs> Love this image. This is beautiful, really beautiful. Ten. Ah, uh, the, the fish is bigger than the cup. <laughs> For our page. No, and I always like to check the pages because, you know, that's who I am in the courts. My uh, my Myers-Briggs and everything points to uh, the page of cups. But, yeah, I've also done the exercise and I, I'm strongly... Um, rel I can strongly relate to the page of cups. So I always look out for that card and see how it's been depicted. And then we have our swords. It's beautiful. Two of swords. Now that looks like the blindfold has been... I oh know it's the handles. It looks like the blindfold has been sliced. Three heart such a gentle deck I mean look at that just look at how beautiful those colors are 
I love it. Seven. Eight. Do we get the impression of him sleeping? Yeah, we do. You can see he's asleep. And ten. Wow. She's just putting her arms up and can't take much more. I like that they use the same style of sword all the way through as well. And then we have our wands. That's a beautiful, beautiful scene with the sun rising, beautiful orange colours. Notice we, we have the, um, should, have, should have said earlier, we have the same style of leaf um, going all the way through each of the suits. There's the five with a conflict. there we have it that's the tarot of leaves oh sorry not tarot of leaves tarot leaves um and yet again you know beth silent and her art is just wonderful and as i said so versatile um i suppose this is the closest art style to the guardian tarot but then it's completely different to dream raven and uh, the blue cat as well as um, the snail deck, Isabelle snail. I always forget, I always want to call it Isabella, <laughs> but it's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I haven't seen much about this deck at all and it's been out for nine years. If you're watching this and you have it, do you use it much? Um, let me know your thoughts. It's still available, um, you know, it's available via Schiffer. So I'm sure on lots of places you can buy Schiffer decks like Amazon and Book Depository but it has a lovely gentle and almost healing energy to it it is so soft and I just know that I'm going to be able to get a lot of use out of this deck um, and I love decks that are nature based anyway you know it's kind of my it's my vibe <laughs> so yeah thank you for watching everybody let me know your thoughts and until next time, which will be tomorrow, Cup of Catch-Up and Cards. We'll be doing the giveaway um, announcement for the wand and the pendulum that the lovely Gaz um, has donated to us, Gaz Armstrong. Um, so hopefully you can join us there. I've got a few things to show you as well. So that will be tomorrow, but it's going to be at a slightly later time of 5 p.m. Um, because I'm meeting up with some friends. We can't meet up for a meal or anything like that, so we're going for a walk in one of our parks um, and have a bit of a birthday get-together. So, thank you for watching, everybody, and until next time, go in peace, namaste, and blessed be.